Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another part of our Hunnic campaign as we continue our Total War campaign. And yes, we're here in part four. And uh, yeah, a lot happened in part three. If you have missed out part three, I do recommend you go and do so. As you can see though, those of you that have seen, uh, seen part three, we are in a bit of trouble. We are now at war with all of our old tributaries. I mean, most of our old tributaries, not at war with all of them. I decided to go to war with the Gepids in, in uh, my defense or in their defense. Um, but the Grusungarians, they did declare war on me. And only the loyal Budinians, a fellow tr uh, like Horde tribe, have uh, stayed with me. I'm going to uh, start making the... Uh, we'll say, we'll start making the um, Grusungarians regret uh, going against me and our Hunnic Empire that we're trying to grow here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what we can get done. Hopefully we can build a new horde in this, uh, this part. I'm hoping, anyway, uh, I'd really like to do that. Also, big news, Attila has been born. He got born at the very end of the last part. Uh, so yeah, good to have him around. It's gonna take a little t while till he is of age. He's only one year old, he's a little babe at the moment. But uh, hopefully uh, we will uh, have him leading hordes and uh, not too far in the future. But, yeah, we're gonna end the turn and we're going to uh, see what happens but we are in a we're in an okay position at the moment and uh, yeah we'll see what happens I mean uh, we just need to basically sack Petrodala I might be even I'm probably gonna raise it to the ground I imagine just gonna uh, either resubjugate the Krugungarians and the Gepids or I'm just going to have them wiped off the face of the earth I haven't quite decided yet um, but without tributaries we are starting to hurt when it comes to um, the economy we could do with maybe um, bringing them back into the into the fold. If we ever get declared war, and I might just not call them in, which was probably my biggest mistake was calling them into uh, into wars. Um, but yes, welcome back. Uh, do get yourself a snack, get yourself a drink, and prepare for the next sort of half an hour of hopefully glorious total war action. There you go. The Gepids are on their way, and they're bringing quite the stack. I do not know how they have so many stacks, but they do. Um, right. What are we going to do about this? I mean, we have a lot of cav. Uh, they have a fair amount of cav themselves. A lot of these Germanic levy. If you kill their generals, split their generals, we have a good chance. I've got to retreat and see whether they can actually uh, follow me. Uh, looks like that's a no. That was probably the easiest decision. I don't really want to face uh, them just yet, the Gephids. They're going to certainly bring two sacks. I want to try and divide them. I always want to try and be at least equal or outnumber the enemy to a certain extent. I feel like, uh, and there's a lot of spears. A lot of spears. What the AI just spams out of spears. So annoying. Hostile agents doing some term of office is over or something. Political favors. There you go. I guess we get Munzuk. He can be a dread rider again, I guess. Sure, I'll go for that. Um, I think I'm just going to destroy Romula. Do an aggressive action there. Uh, we will slack and raise. How can I help? I also don't know how I can't get this guy in the uh, in the army here, but for some reason I cannot. Whether he. Why, I don't know why he can't be in armies. A bit odd, but yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna, we're gonna raise Romulus. There we go. A bit excessive, you know, just burning. In, it's like a nuke going off as well when it happens. It's quite fun to see, though. Um, we're gonna do authority, and then we're going to do cunning or fatigue. Uh, food, maybe. Let's do food, I think. Go down all all fronts there. And then our army is also upgraded. We're going to go integrity when encamped. And also maybe a sacking income. You can always do a more sacking Why income. We are going to uh, affect our the rivalry here, which is a problem. But we'll keep the two hordes next to each other. This one can grow as well a little bit more, which is what we need. Ready for and you, sir, can start sacking Petrodava. Uh, we'll just go aggressive. Stab him in the foot. These are easy auto resolves, so we just don't need to really fight. We'll lose more men through doing it like this. And 131. Yeah, I'd have lost more probably. Sack it a grand. Wow. That's more than I really expected we were going to get. 
uh, and then we'll raise it. And then I think you can fast move so far, but I'll, we'll see in a minute once the nukes finish going off. Usually we should be able to just like uh, force march a little bit, which I will do just to uh, get some movement towards Olvia. So we'll do that. And there we go. Um, I'm also going to put campaign movement range in and then sacking income as well for Alden. So he's actually got some stuff done. Uh, melee damage for all cavalry units. That seems like a great idea. Uh, and then any... I don't really want to bring in actually any mercenaries. We're going to be taking a thousand losses. Eesh, it's rough. It really is. Uh, the Western Roman Empire really like us as well. I think in because we are be welcome. Uh, fighting the Gepids, which are at war with the Western Roman Empire. But the Gepids have lost a lot of their territory overnight. Uh, to various rebels. So yeah, all, all of a sudden they don't have these territories here. Uh, so the Gepids actually aren't going to be in the best of uh, states. And uh, now their new capital is Sirmium. Over here we could actually go and subjugate them at once more, which I might do. And it might put them in a better position having uh, this as their capital. This is a walled settlement. But yeah, Sirmium could be a nice little base of operations to then work from. Uh, we'll see. Looks like someone's sieging down Serdica, whether that's Dacia or someone else, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably re vassalize you people because we need the money. Tributaries, we're going to need the money, um, like, well, help with our income. Yeah, we're going to need that. And I'm also going to try and subjugate the Antians, I think. The Scalavians also broke away as well, but they're a long way north that I just... I don't know if I have the effort to go north again and go and resubjugate those guys. I only did it in turn one because they're right by you. Eastern Roman Empire... Doing a lot of thinking. And the Gepids, will they? Uh, oh, the Western Roman Empire are doing a lot of thinking as well. Gepids didn't do anything. They didn't weren't aggressive. We also at war yeah, with some people in the east, so we do need to be aware of that. Whether the Budinians will stay. Um, I I'm, not, I'm not going to go to war with the Kartli. I'm sorry. There's so many rebel factions now, like the whole Roman world is breaking apart. There you go, offer secured to somewhat for Munzuk. You can now attack Olvia though. Religious change for the Gepids are now uh, lasting Christianity. Uh, we can raise it. We'll do that. And then we'll w work our way down. Uh, you're probably wondering, Pope, why are you raising these settlements? Well, I have to raise them if I want to resubjugate um, the Grusengarians because, well, they. Uh, you can't subjugate a nation unless it's on its last settlement, basically. Which is why I can now uh, subjugate the Gepids if I want to. Because they are now on their last settlement. And actually are looking to abandon it. Which they might not be able to do now if I'm sieging it. Yeah, they can't now abandon it if, this, if I'm sieging it. Ah, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's put you here. You're in a separate territory by doing that, and therefore, Ready for more orders. can I keep an eye on stuff? We're also going to send the spy across, going to keep an eye on where. Is there nothing else? Uh, it's maybe Macedon, actually, that's the sure ones that's, that's been sieging Serdica. Interesting. Um, we will probably be removing a lot of these uh, random nations over here and raising them to the ground. There's already a lot of desolate places around Constantinople. So, yeah. That will be good to get rid of them. We are making a bit more money through uh, at the moment. But we are, yeah, working towards more growth. We need to get uh, eight growth to be able to get another one. And I'm probably going to put Munzuk in there, I think. Fertile, which is not the end of the world. I don't care for that. But he's... Uh, I swear he brings out his personal influence, which could be a, a problem. Um, Octar, maybe. Loyalty. Stupid. His cunning's down, which... Actually, it might be a better option. His loyalty is plus one uh, rather than Munzuk. So I might go for him instead. Uh, and, it, and I'm thinking about making an economic horde, like one that's relying on growth and, uh, and money, basically. I just put it somewhere safe, uh, maybe somewhere like here in the middle of sort of like Dacia and just keep it there, basically. Anyway, we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. I remember like Lionheart ages ago doing something very similar. So I like, put it like the horde on... Uh, yeah, sure. Well, it's the war. Um, against the uh, against the Sclavians, so I might have to go north and deal with them. But uh, yeah, I remember Lionheart when these this campaign out came out like what, ten years ago now. Attila, maybe more than that now. Attila's been out, and he put like yeah his horde, his economic horde on like roads and just like.
kept it there safe. And it's not a bad idea. I was thinking I might do doing some similar um, weather on roads or weather. I'll just put it somewhere in the vicinity of like here in like uh, in I guess what's now like Romania. Just keep it like somewhere there and just it should be safe and sound. There's not much passing through here. Most of the action's happening in the Balkans or in the West. And yeah, the Bugians really want us to go to war with these guys. I'm not going to war with them. Uh, Judy calls for the poisoned arrows. Who died? Oh, Olden's died. Oh dear, that's not good. I will put Octar in charge then. He was the guy that I wanted to yell. There you go, he's died of uh, natural causes. Regency. Because Attila is now my heir. Session. Uh, so is Ruger now. Oh, is Ruger now my Khan? He's now my Khan until Attila comes of age? I really don't know. But it's also uh, Munzuk's heir. I don't really know what's going on there. Um, interesting. I was going to say, I think Attila just becomes Khan once. Once he comes uh, to the throne, but we'll see. Be aggressive here, and I'm going to just kill them and subjugate them, I think. Like, sack them. We lost 10 guys. Sack! We get nearly 2 grand from sacking them, and then we'll switch you There we go. They can now be our subjects, and they have all these stacks as well, which they're, like, ready to use. We'll go to... I mean, we could attack. I'm gonna wait one turn, just let the replenishment help, I think. And then let's go down and see who's actually sieging Sertica. What's the Visigoths? Oh, well, we've got to deal with them as well. I forgot about that. Um, but now I'm not making... Still making, making a loss, but not so much of a loss. Um, and this guy... How much can you cross without taking losses? We'll go to there. It's going to take us a long time, I think, to get south. This guy can't go as far as travel as far as well because he's not as efficient as Ulden, but that's just, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we've now done all of that. We're now going to do... I'm going to do wealth from agriculture buildings because I think that's the one that helps the most. Because we have uh, quite a lot of agriculture buildings being built and being used. Yeah, we're now going to start sacking all the places down here and get some more stuff oh, done. Boss. And what are we at now for growth? You're at seven. You're nearly at eight. Oh, and then we'll get another horde, hopefully, on the way. Um, we'll end the turn, I think. I don't think there's anything else we want to do. Scalavians are at war. Yeah. Besieged in there. I think we'll end the turn. We're kind of flying through these turns, but that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of how this goes. It's, it's not easy. It's a lot less management going on. A lot more fighting, I feel like. And see, this doesn't seem like any of the Roman empires are doing anything. I don't know if the Eastern Roman Empire are, you know, um, busy elsewhere. But yeah, oh, here we go, the Gruthungarians. And they're gonna dare to fight me with one army. You dare to fight me with one army. We'll fight this battle. We'll fight this battle. Get Octar some early experience. And it's a, ah, uh, look at this. It's a river crossing. This will work sort of in our favor, I think. We'll see. There's a lot of nomadic horsemen, actually, that are sort of, uh, you know, helping out. But, yeah, this will help, I guess, with micro. We could maybe, depending on where uh, their army kind of spawns, we could maybe um, look to maybe sneak across elsewhere. We could actually put spears to hold. I imagine that's what they're going to do. Where are the two crossings? Let's put spears at both, and then we can rush the spears to, the, um, to either or. I can't even see this map, really. i resize this map, please. There's one crossing here. One, like, pretty much in front of my army. It's hard to tell where they are with the... What about here? No, it's still further down. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Quite obviously here, Pope. There you go. One right there. 
Uh, we'll put a whole bunch of cavalry as well. You can have all of the, uh, kind of all of these here. So just to keep an eye on them. I'll probably keep the horse archers here as well for now. They can supply, um, give some missile support for my actual melee cab further behind. I'm going to take the lancers, I think. Might try and go over the other side. Uh, unless the AIs obviously come to this one, then we're, uh, well, then we're in a bit of trouble. Those are the ones there. Let's go with these guys then here. And then put uh, my general about there. And I imagine that they're probably going to just try and defend. Oh, no, they're at this one. Okay, so they did quite the opposite of what I thought they would do, and they've gone for the other one. Okay, um, how do we want to play this then? Probably want to send our horse archers all the way to the other side to start with. My gen can go there. And then I'm gonna send. I'll get these guys into a shield wall in a moment. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of wanted to have these lances to go across onto the other side. I'm gonna send them that way, and I'm gonna send all of these warband just here for now. Yeah, get these guys into a shield wall. Make it hard. Do thing. I think actually all of their armies are this. We'll just send the infantry here as well. A bit more infantry ready to go. And then you guys can stay here. We'll have you sneak across in a minute. Actually, we might do it now. They're not firing anything. They're just like they're going to send a Germanic levy across. If they go all into melee, which is exactly what I expect they're going to do, they're all going to go into melee. I'm going to try and get my horse archers. Are they in range? Can they start shooting? Can you just like fall up here. Can you start shooting stuff? Probably out of range of the Germanic hurlers. I don't know. It doesn't say what their range is. There you go. It looks like... Oh, they charged me? Seriously? Okay. Oh, it's still not even in range there. What? Right, shoot them. Uh, just fall up over here. Just do something like that. Lance is going to cross. And we'll start shooting at stuff. Oh, careful. Where you go, careful. Where you go. Just start shooting these guys. Kill his cav and we should be okay. Actually, standing on top of each other as well is also not seeming to affect stuff. So that's great. Uh, but we are kind of getting screwed. We're going to have to get our uh, cav actually into play soon here. Not really a great play is, uh, you know, trying to kill an army in a river crossing. Maybe this wasn't the play, but we'll give it a go. I might lose my hunting spears here. The men are broken and running right, there we go. Eyes. Horse archers, get out of there. My other spears aren't going to get there in time. I guess we can do something like that, maybe. Gonna break through in a moment on my other spear line. Ah, oh well. The spears are expendable at the end of the day. I also am gonna have you guys on fire at will, because uh, then you could be a pest, a bit more of a pain. If we kill our cab off quickly, then we're in business. These are, oh, these are a shock cab. Yeah, we send those. Send them back in. The enemy is attacking our general! Really, did they seriously break that unit? That is incredible. There you go, in you go. Maybe I should have taken the ore resolve. Uh, go through and just get all those archers for me. Get out of there. Uh, Jen, we'll get out of there. Been destroyed. Just trying to kill your. Uh, Oh, I didn't get them. That's a shame. Okay, so you can bait the general across if he's dumb enough to come in. Uh, we might be able to kill these spears off in a moment as well. Yeah, just shoot into the side of these spears. Absolutely focus them down. Yep, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Charge them with me. Oh, great, 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 great. God damn. Start shooting these other missile cap, maybe. A unit is running from the enemy. Bait you out a little bit more. There 
you out a little bit more as well. Actually splitting these guys might not be a bad play. Uh, let's see if we can charge those lights. Probably get a chance here. There you go. We're running these guys down easily. Oh no, he's going to come in. Really losing that fire skirmish cab. It's a very light Men skirmish cab. Oh, Cowards. get out of that! Get out of that! Get out of that! Charge the gen with all these other units. Do not charge with that one. Ah, uh, busy looking elsewhere. I'm not paying attention at all. But we get this general here. We mop these guys up. Really poor for me there. How did we not win that fight? Okay, get some actual melee cab in here. The spears, maybe. Seriously, we're not going to win that fight. Cav, just pull back. Come on, break that general. Break that general. The men are running. Stand and fight, damn you. Come on, break that gen. Break that and we'll get a lot of these guys routing here. There we go. The general is dead. Very messy how we've done this. But we've got this done. That's them dead, pretty much. Uh, no, not you. You go in there, though. By the way, general come over here. Another cab here. All archers, all start shooting these light spears for me. Or oh, what's that, actually? A heavy mi uh, mercenary boss for it. Let's kill him. Why are you so slow? Alright, interesting. So it was like moving fast. It was definitely not moving fast. Force archers again. Please get out of combat. Please. Please, please, please. Get out of combat. Force archers out of combat. Spears run in. Other lancers got in there nicely. Nice, nice, nice. Out you go. And these other guys being a pain. Run around and around. Force archers just all start shooting. Uh, that boss room for me. That's what you should be shooting. How do you want to get so close? Oh my gosh, why do you want to get so close? Uh, General and other cab go around the side, actually. Horse archers, you're not behaving, so you just have to stand over there and just be a be a pain. Uh, go back in for the these guys here. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! There you go, easy stuff. Oh, is it because they're all on? Uh, it's because they're all on the melee attack. That's why. I didn't even realize that'll be my fault. That's my bad. In you go, going for those. See if we can charge these guys head on. I don't think we can, and they're also in shield wall. Yeah, we definitely can't just charge those guys head on. Uh, horse archers, just prepare. Bit of a mess. Fight. We'll see if we can give that a go. I think we die here pretty hard. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we can charge them. I think my general actually is doing a pretty decent job actually in there, so we'll keep that up. Spears keep going in. My spears, poor spears, have like absolutely been knackered by this. And there you go, that should be the battle. That should be pretty much game. A glorious victory will soon be yours. We'll just keep running these guys down quickly, make sure that no one gets out of here alive. Uh, everyone on attack orders. Uh, can we have everyone on fire at will off? Taking unnecessary losses here. Bish bash bosh, we should be done. 
Close victory? Yeah, I'd say close victory. There you go, a victory. The Gruthungarians can regret their moves into attacking us there. The poisoned arrows, victorious. We did lose a spear, but we're going to take on warriors. Help with the old replenishment. Very nice. Now, let's get through these last few like rebel factions. And we might have, I think, one more turn. I think before we have to uh, wrap up today's episode, we'll begin towards a half an hour mark. There you go, finally making money as well. Be at war with the following faction, Bastanians. Are they really back alive? I thought these guys were dead. I thought I killed them off. Where are they? I don't know. The faction uh, encountered the Izagis. I mean, we're going to be on good terms with those, I would have thought. Uh, we can recruit an extra Hunnic Spear, which I probably will do. Uh, yeah, you go to about there, so I think you're outside of the range of the garrison at that point. Yeah, there's not really much of an army left. We'll do something like that. And I'll merge these guys, I think. There we go, just recruit two brand new ones. They get some chevrons as well. Uh, and there you go, okay. And then let's see what we can do here. Let's give us um, that one short. Uh, missile bow, and then cavalry recruit, sure. And then zeal, and then cal uh, campaign movement range. That's what we want. And warriors camp, I think, is what I'm going to put some uh, stuff in so I can get some better troops going in that army. An Octar's horde. Okay, and uh, Macedon are doing stuff. They are actually expanding. As are the Gepids. They're just, you know, busy conquering people. The Izagis kind of like me by the looks of Let it. Your words move me to uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get anything tank. with them. The by looks of it. I think I'm just going to go... I don't know. Be a pain and raid in... In their Bad lands in here. Just might do that. But you can still burn. Let's have you go across into here. I'm going way. to keep encamped here for now. Because I want to keep getting that growth. So we can get another horde going. And... I don't oh, know. Do we want to be a pain? I'm just trying to disrupt the settlement. Encourage the scent? Sure, why not? Bought. We'll do that for now. The way is and he just accomplished that. Marvellous. And then we're going to get uh, the poison arrows, Come some traditions. Going to get integrity and uh, raiding income. And also looting income, more importantly. And we'll do one more end turn and we'll see if we can get that uh, that horde built this turn. The Scalavians here were at Enjoy war this quiet time. The Antian. It ends now. Uh, the war on me. I'm not going to call the anyone in. I'm Push going to um, just, yeah, you know, not have the Gepids join my war after I've just subjugated them. Because they'd probably be like, yeah, screw that, we're not doing that. The Antians have declared war on me as well, which is a bit of a pain. I might have to just go back north in a moment, go and subjugate them, um, along with maybe the Scalavians. We'll see. We'll see if I can be bothered. These guys clearly just don't stay on side, though. It's a bit of a pain. The Groot Hungarians. Groot Hungarians? Groot Hungarians? I don't know. Groot Hungarians. Oh my gosh, where do these guys appear from? Okay. Fall back. Destination reached. Okay. An interesting fight. It should be one we should win. And I guess we'll fight it now. I was not expecting to fight another battle. Oh, that's annoying. And those poor Hunnic spears aren't going to get recruited. Um, right, we will fight this one on the battlefield and we'll see who wins this one. This should be an interesting one. Because this uh, faction has a lot... This Ab Ab Abbas gear. They have a lot more cav than like the typical barbarian faction and horse archers. Um, but we should be able to win it. We have more horse archers, more cav. And then if we can get their general, which is a cav unit... Should be able to kill them. Right, we're gonna go with skirmish mode, loose formation for my horse archers. My lancer core is still in pretty good condition. I'm gonna put that out on the right for now. And my spears in the middle to sort of hold the line, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna die pretty quickly. My general 
was my more sorted cavalry out on this left flank for now. Uh, though I don't know how much of that's going to survive. And we'll see how this goes. They should attack us because they were the aggressors. They do actually have other ranged units like the Persian Bowman, which could be a pain. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just see if we can be a threat ourselves. And I'll uh, send my cow out to the flank to see if we can maybe, you know, bait the AI just to, you know, start to turn his army. Maybe go left or right. We'll see. But they're just marching forward. We'll just fast forward a little bit while we wait for them to get a little bit closer. What else are they bringing? Bosphorus warriors. Got plenty of those. Persian brigade, brigade, man, not a problem. The Armenian spears could be their heavy spears. Um, but yeah, if we get the general who's a Polish, no, a Polish, a Persian noble, then uh, hopefully um, should be easy mopped up. There is one decent cataphract in there as well. I saw medium Persian cataphracts, which are only medium, um, but I think that's still a, much more strong than anything I've got. Get these guys a little closer, see if they'll uh, react. The AI is pretty dumb. I'll just charge in head on into one thing. I'm going to put my horse archers out to the right. Keep my spears maybe more in the center. Maybe push them forward a little bit. Seems like the AI is just going to go straight in on uh, straight in on my poor spears in a moment here, I think. Maybe I'll just hold you there, fellas. Hold you there. Uh, horse archers, yeah, you're on fire at will. Sweet. There we go. We got the cab pretty much away. Form up, and then let's start shooting. Our general is being attacked. Keep him alive. And then you start shooting there. Actually, start shooting those. Start shooting those. My general's got to get charged. That's not so good. And then in you go. That should be enough to uh, deal with them. And then uh, let's uh, let's go and send these guys on a bit of a merry dance. Oh god, they got my uh, lances out, out there. Not so good. Not so good. Uh, there you go. They're gonna kill that lance. That's annoying. Oh my gosh! Can you please stop? <laughs> I'm, my micro is awful today. But we can get this general easily. Easily get this general. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm a, yeah. Just, just go in and kill this. Oh my god. I'm not doing well against the horse faction. Micro is not great. Uh, retreat. Uh, just maybe go and get him. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to get that horse archer. Uh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. There we go. Okay, can we get something out of here? Maybe to go and chase there. A general should be dying soon. Get out of there. Go kill that. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. So we've got those cataphracts as well. He's winning, but he's... Oh, there we go. I'm going to lose my spears here, I think, but not much I can do about that. My lance is broke. That's not great. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Keep being a pain. Yeah, they're going to get my... Uh, ugh. Cavis, seriously, can we just break this general? This general should be dead already. Defeat. My Their unit has rallied. Right, that's a pain. My horse arch is a little bit too far away. Do any use? Be of any use? Come on, break that gen. Oh my, did win, but I've lost that. Uh, the men are broken unit. and running for their that's lives. Gonna get that horse archer. That's something. Get that one as well. Horse archers start shooting other horse archers. And can you run around over here, please? There we go. The general should die in a minute, but it's costly, costly, costly stuff. Let's charge them. And start shooting these Armenian spears. That can be your target as well. The general should be dead. Just make sure he stays dead. Like, he's not dying. Their general is dead. A lethal blow. Nice, got that gen. Did I ask you to go to combat? I don't know if I did. Maybe I did. They're in... Not great. Uh, not ideal. Won't lie. Keep 
Keep going around. Keep going around. Keep just avoiding them. Get out of there. Keep sneaking around these guys. I don't want to get engaged. What are these? Persian lights? Ah. Nothing exciting in fairness, but still. Right. All start shooting over here. Get their missiles. Get out of there. Those boss friends are going to be a real pain. What are these? Persians? Oh, we can probably just run them down. All my horse archers just shoot that boss room for me. And you guys go in there, and then you go in there. Oh my god, I didn't realize you were mid. Uh, I need to get these guys off attack. Like, stop having them on like uh, attack on aggressive moves. Oh, that horse archer's broken. I'm gonna need to get this horde re replenished and sorted out because it's just like two big battles. Back to back. And this is what I mean. Like these armies are these hordes are fragile. They're fragile. Go and kill that unit there. And there you go, that should mop these guys up easy enough. Can you also not do that? There you go, sweet. We're going to win it, but for my gosh, we made a bit of a mess of it. That is for sure. Charge in, and there you go, routed. And then... A glorious then... victory will soon be yours. Fire it will off. Uh, there's not really anything to chase. We can kill those, I guess. Then I should have probably just stayed in camp. It would have been just better. Better and a... Better idea. Oh, well, there you go. Just keep running these guys down. I just don't want them to... Uh, come back and be re be reused in another fight. Because all they have to do is recruit another general and they're back in the fight. But there you go. That should do. Period victory, that's for sure. There you go. Octar gets another victory, but my gosh, his army's banged up now. I'm going to have to probably retreat just out of distance of the Gruthungarian capital so they don't get any smart ideas and just recruit. Maybe get some mercenaries going. This army. We'll see. I only lost the one unit again. Another spear. Take on more, take on more troops, and we'll probably just destroy this army when we get the chance in a second. Zebirs, Budinians, Izigis, Macedonians, Africans, Dacians, Gauls. So many different factions now. There you go, we kill Mercenary Commander. And there we go, we'll just kill this guy off. Octar's done a great job. On the move, lads. Nice. Aggressive. Stab him in the face. I guess we should... Someone was saying I should go defensive all the time because I have horse archers. I probably should be, actually. We also have a whole bunch of calves, so... Who knows? We'll go up there. We should be safe there. Replenish. And get all those spears. That we've uh, lost. And then we got the... Um, We'll accept his offer of being a mercenary. And then I'm going to build this horde over here. Here we go. I'm going to put in... Well, he's, uh, he's homely. He's a eunuch, so he can't be having any kids. This guy is pretty much nothing. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a Munzuk. There you go. And there you go. We have a new horde, which can't do anything. But it is now there. We have a new horde on the go. Do we want to declare war on that faction? I don't know if we do, really. If you come all the way down to Serdica, which I actually might do. Is there nothing else? I'm going to then go back into oh, encampment. No do I get more money from raiding? Is there nothing else? What or you from can steal? encamping? Uh, more money from encamping, but only just. I might go back to raiding a bit for a bit and uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, there you go. We've done a little bit there. We've raised a new horde. We could put in some Germanic spears. They cost a whole bunch. Uh, and yeah, our economy can't really afford to take it. 
Um, but we do have a new horde on the way, and this is Munzuk, who's our heir. How can I help? He has the will of Tengri, and he has a small, small, uh, yeah, like the star of a horde. But I'm going to make sure he has uh, stuff. Can't build stuff because we're inefficient funds. We do actually, yeah. I guess it costs a whole bunch to make a horde. I didn't think about that. It just costs a whole bunch ah, of money. Sit. And there you go. Stand that's most fire. of our money spent on that. We're going to start raiding and doing damage to these guys over here, I think, as well. In some way or another. Probably uh, start war or maybe the Visigoths. And then maybe we'll come back down and deal with the Romans in a moment. But uh, the Antians have also declared war on me. So I do kind of need to get this horde back to friendly that? territory once the Gruthungarians are subjugated. Which I should be able to do, I think. So this Gruthungarian horde army is getting larger and larger uh, mine should be back to full strength whether we look at maybe merging some of these guys actually I might do that now now we're speaking about it there you go and then we'll just hire this fella to replace the one that's lost it's just a mercenary for a mercenary at that point but there you go that's the uh, star bar merging taking place anyway guys that's where I'm going to wrap up today's episode if you did enjoy and want to see more do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're around here and a comment to show your support and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye for now.